A weak cold front is responsible for bringing us a few showers and storms for both tomorrow and for Labor Day. We're not going to see very many, but certainly some scattered rain with some thunder will be possible. Now, as that front rolls through, it's really not going to be doing anything to cool us off. It is a very weak front, so not expecting major changes in the temperatures. But after Labor Day, we're going to return to partly cloudy conditions and stay there for a while. Lots of sunshine through the rest of the week. And speaking of the rest of the week, it's going to be pretty consistently in the mid 90s, not seeing a whole lot of change. Tomorrow could have the upper 90s in store, but after that, I think we stick around 94 to 96 degrees for the better part of a week, if not longer. So here's what future track looks like going into tomorrow. There's that front. You can see the clouds kind of coming in, moving to the south. So by noon to one o'clock, the first showers and storms could already be popping up towards Meridian, Hillsboro and Corsicana, and those will be sliding to the south as the day goes on. Some new showers and storms will be bubbling up, and this is about seven o'clock. So still throughout the area, Central Texas and Brazos Valley, there will be the potential to have some storms in the area. Nothing too widespread. Certainly many places will be staying dry tomorrow, but can't rule out some downpours and maybe a brief strong thunderstorm in the mix. Not expecting severe weather, but there could be some gusty winds with the strongest thunderstorms. Now Monday, as the front attempts to clear the area, it will almost be through, but still uh, sticking around in our southern regions enough to maybe on Monday afternoon provide a small shower chance for the Brazos Valley. But for the Waco area and Central Texas, looks like a lot of clearing out will be happening by that time. So for your Sunday, temperatures will be starting out around 77 to begin the day. 92 at noon with maybe already a few thunderstorms in the area. 95 at 5 o'clock and 82 by 10. And really a lot of that rainfall should be wrapping up by then. But a few more showers could redevelop on Monday, especially if you're watching down the Brazos Valley with perhaps a thunderstorm or two. But like I said, Tuesday and beyond, it is all looking dry. We have plenty of partly cloudy to mostly sunny conditions and highs in the mid 90s for the better part of a week.